in the dead of the night, we were making our way to a mysterious property somewhere in Sweden that has stood vacant for some 40 years. Untouched for decades, it offers a fascinating snapshot of domestic Scandinavian life back in the 1980s. The property is now losing the fight with Mother Nature. As I'm exploring it, in its state of collapse, I will uncover the secrets of this derelict time capsule with you today. So it's literally pitch dark right now outside. The thing is in Sweden it gets dark very early. So during these series we are forced to actually film episodes in the dark. Of course we prefer the daylight. We don't want these episodes to have any intention of haunted or spooky, uh, creepy stuff. We just want to document history. But yeah, you're literally in in the middle of nowhere in Sweden, you've never even been here. And now you're literally walking to an abandoned place. Let's see, I think we have to go up here. I hope no one sees us, no one calls the police. All ends up well. But in the end we are here with a good intention. And that is to show you something about the history of Sweden. Are you ready for it, Sarah? Yeah. It's very overgrown here. Let's take the other way. It's also very foggy. So that's actually a bad thing, you cannot see anything properly. Please watch your step, okay? Be careful. <laughs> we are crazy doing this at night. Literally all the houses can see us there. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. I think this is it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it must be. It's the only house here. We actually reached it quicker than I expected. That's the home. Okay, well, you are warned you will get a wet pants. Uh, already. Yeah, but right now. Be careful because this tree is pretty slippery. Okay, Over there you can see it. We have to make our way through the bushes here. Oh Jesus Christ. Why are we doing this so difficult? <laughs> because we can't see anything. That's the answer.
Okay. And there we are. Right in front of us is the house. Okay, this is it, what we were looking for. Now we only have to find a way in, yeah. Seems pretty sealed up. There is another house there. Possibly is also maybe that one. I don't know. That's a shed, I think, which belonged to the house. Seems that this property is pretty well closed. I'm pretty positive that this one is completely closed, to be honest. Maybe check out the other house. Yeah, the left one. Where? Somebody walking. Okay. Sarah thought somebody was walking there. Apparently it was just this pink chair. I don't want my glasses. So yet another property. All of them seem so well sealed. I'm actually pretty scared that boat buildings are closed, but of course we can try to check all accesses. Yeah, that's the thing while exploring, you cannot always have luck, of course. I think that one is closed too, but we can always check. Close, right? Yes. Literally, I just have had a look here. And where's the opening? It's leading. Come have a look, it's leading to the basement. This is absolutely crazy. Okay. Um, you know what we're gonna do? I hold it open for you so you can go inside already. Or do you want me to go first? Whatever you want. Go first, please. Yeah, then you have to hold the thing. It's pretty heavy. This is actually leading to the rest of the room, but this is absolutely crazy. No, no, this is literally only the basement. 
<sighs> but yeah, well, you know the thing is, the floor above us, you can see it, it's literally ducked in, it's collapsed. The thing is over there, you are inside, but it's too risky because everything will fall down. With half of the floor already collapsed and the other half dangling down, this was certainly risky. But since it was the only option, I decided to give it a go. Okay, so you can clearly see my pants, I actually did it, I went through it. But to be honest, this is my most, very, very most unsafe exploration I ever, ever, ever did. This is actually crazy. Many people might be angry that I'm actually doing this and very worried. Well, I told Sarah, my friend, she stays down. In case something happens, she can call an ambulance or something. But this is a very, very beautiful home and literally it's in the state of collapsement at the moment. This building can literally fall down any second. It's absolutely crazy. I'm gonna stand up now at a safe point. Well safe, relatively safe. I'm actually in the kitchen. You can see the dining table over there has already fallen down. The floor is not even present anymore. And that over there is actually leading to the upstairs. But this place is a real, real time capsule. I'm gonna document it for all of you. So please, already smash that thumbs up button because you've seen what I had to go through right over here. And it's even get, getting crazier and crazier. So over here, actually a cabinet. Still completely full. On top of there, also all the medicines. I actually understand why they closed this place that properly because it's literally so, so unsafe. This was actually a bedroom. Chair over here. I see a date on the newspaper there from 1996. I like the tapestry with the cats. I guess the former owners loved cats. And actually look at the Santa mask. <laughs> Looks like a very, very grumpy Santa, to be honest. I literally hear the floor cracking everywhere. Another bed over there and an ironing plank. Going back to the crazy parts. It's so crazy how a place like this just ends up being frozen in time. The last calendar date, 1977. This place is abandoned for over 40 years. 43 years in total. And this is what happens with a place, but it's so well preserved for that time. Only decay has been happening here. Okay, there we go, the balancing proof. You can see the dining table I was talking about still with a glass and a newspaper on it. And it's almost leveled with the ground. Here I go. Underneath me, the floor is collapsed. Imagine that. Over there, coats hanging up. This is literally the only way to reach the upstairs. I've made it safe, at least the way to it now. I also have to go safe back, of course. But I will ensure that. Whew. All right, there we are at the upstairs. Still the jackets hanging up here. Wow. Be 
been catching white mole and everything. Oh, also look at the head over here. Must have been for the winter season. And then there is actually an organ. Wow. Actually air used to be pumped inside. It's also broken, you can tell. Look, the mechanism is just broken. But you would pump air inside of here, press a key, and then you could play a nice song. inside of here it's actually I think an additional storage part right underneath the roof I can just not imagine that this place is abandoned for 40 years but still so well kept in time it seems not a single thing has been stolen even the rusty singer sewing machine is still standing here and over here the press you would squeeze wet clothes out of the washer in between it to eventually dry it by turning the wheel on the side. Some coats hanging up here. Even some gentle suits. Just completely untouched with even the ties and the trousers inside of it. Still there. And not as if this was just a built-in wardrobe. Okay, hold your seats because this is absolutely amazing. Have a look. Wow. There's actually this very, very magical pram just standing inside of the room right in the center of it I really really like it the first proper pram we find in Sweden and a very very great one it was part of a bedroom you can see the bed over here some stuff on the ground and this was actually a very old-fashioned telephone book over here it's saying telephone catalog. All the telephone numbers of people nearby. My gosh, have a look at this. It's probably one of the most antique vacuum cleaners I've seen. Wow. <laughs> oh my. And over here the radio too, with the books, wow. My gosh. Also the Jan's head right next to it. We can see an old photo of the former man who used to live here. The Swedish man. My gosh. And over here, this might have been the father of one of the past residents. Maybe it was even the last resident in his older days. He seemed that he had a very important function. Something for the army maybe. Maybe something political. Sewing box over here. Filled with all the tiny sewing material. Even over here it's still completely filled. is absolutely amazing especially the radio the vacuum cleaner and of course the wonderful pram I can just stare for hours and hours to an old device like this <sighs> even how this is made it's like raw material or something that absolutely sparked my mind I didn't expect it to be honest I thought, okay, well, this place is a time capsule, but abandoned for 40 years. And concerning the things which are still left behind, I'm absolutely speechless. Some pot 
standing on the ground here. Look over here. Actually horses and this clock with a lion and a tiger. Very beautiful picture. Again, it seems that this was the same man. It seems he was very important. That's maybe the reason why they cannot demolish the house. And it's literally just left now for the job of Mother Nature. Wow. This was a very old secretary desk actually. Well, nothing very interesting. I thought it was maybe an old painting. And actually these drawers here, they were filled with sheets. Was this a little dollhouse? I do think so. And then over here another desk. Where? The past owner probably used to do his business. There is a model ship, a flag, also a tiny purse. Next to some alarm clocks, a cuckoo clock even over here. Wow. And then talking about clocks, look at this one. Actually, I've seen a similar one multiple times before in France. So it's nothing typical Swedish. Oh, this is from 1941. Confirmationsdagen. Maybe that was communion yeah i think this boy that is holy communion a roman catholic i think he's holding a bible in his hands wow <laughs> absolutely amazing i actually noticed one other door i want to check out i think it's one of these other storage parts oh look at the leather coat hanging here Some hangers over here, some boxes for indeed storage, as I supposed. So I guess that was it for this floor. I'm going to take one last look in one room. I also want to show you in the downstairs, but to be honest, I don't think it will be possible because that is even dodgier than this I just did. Okay. It's all about balance.
Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you had the one other room. Have a look at this chair. The curtains, wow. I can't believe I also made it to this part. So then I really showed you everything inside of this wonderful time capsule, frozen in time for more than 40 years. Absolutely incredible. There's even still a little letter left behind there in the cabinet. Some furniture stored on the side. Also beautiful sofa. And then look at this television. It's one of the most vintage televisions I've ever, ever seen. Centrum. The buttons. I think the right was for the volume. Tall Brilliance Film Studio. Even a stuffed seagull on top. I think they love the beach because there is also this little ornament with a lot of shells. Looks handmade. What's actually inside? Oh, this was a razor, I think. Yep, this was a razor. <laughs> very, very nice. Gotta put that back where I found it. Well, so the last thing we just left is walking underneath the curtains and this room is however very plain and simple quite emptied out there is a rocking chair but furthermore there is not much left oh my i can't believe i did it now the last thing is actually also going back from this place look literally the floor is gone here This place is literally in his state of collapsement. And I just filmed it. Now it's time to go back to Sarah. Sarah, are you still there? Uh, she's missing me, she's saying. <laughs> okay, well, let's hope I get back in good health. I uh, am going to hand over the camera to you. And then uh, you might can show the people what I just had to go through only to document this place. Oh my. Okay, do you have it? Yeah. yeah <sighs> this is by far the dodgiest explorer I have ever 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 done here with you in sweden for real anyways i'm going to close the video here and also the most extraordinary spot i ever did and i'm very happy that i could capture this place today because i think in a few weeks this place is history forever and it will be leveled with the ground for real so if you could appreciate my efforts, my courage, then you know the drill. Hit the like button, subscribe down below, leave a nice comment down below. If you want to support us on our travels and see more adventures, maybe not as dodgy as this one, but if you want to see more, you can support us on our Patreon page or there is a PayPal link down below in the video description. And then as always, I wish you a wonderful week and we will see you on our next adventure. Peace out, bye bye.